So, my name's Adrian Burden, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a project we're working on called Live, Work, Go here in Malvern. And it actually came about because of the problems we face when we're organising the Festival of Innovation. Lots of people come to me after the event and say we didn't know it was on. And so there's clearly a problem with disseminating the fact that events are on in towns and making sure everybody that wants to come and take part and enjoy them hear about them in good time. So, of course, with something like the festival, we use social media, uh, we put it on our website, we use the local newspapers, we put it in local um, press and magazines. So you'd think that that was possibly enough, but uh, it's still a problem that lots and lots of events are missed. And unless you have a big event that perhaps you put on at a tourist information centre or um, make aware that way, lots of things go unnoticed. And in particular, I think some of the events, for example, smaller events to do with the sports um, clubs around town, women's institute meetings, small business meetings, and so forth, are the kinds of things that get missed. So we've put together a web application called Live, Work, Go. And the premise behind this is that it is a way of finding events in areas where you live, where you work, and where you go. And what we've done is we've split the world, at the moment, the UK, up into hexagons, uh, like a honeycomb. And each of those cells is about 10 miles in, in uh, width. And height. And the idea is, is that those hexagons get populated with events that are on. Now there are event aggregation apps and of course there are web-based services like Eventbrite and Meetup that propagate information about those particular events. But if you don't use those services then there's no way of finding those other events. And what we're trying to do with this platform is have a crowdsourced approach to putting events on on the system so that people can find out about them. So the way Live, Work, Go works is that each hexagon has a group of champions working within them. So these are the local stakeholders and people that are busy within those communities, either organising events or looking after venues where events are held. And the idea is that on the platform they can add events that they hear about, and when they do that they get rewarded with, in this case we reward them with virtual gems and jewels. Um, and the more that they get, the more permissions they will have in the future to look after the events and they rise up as a champion within that cell or within that little bit of community. So the events are put onto the website and we also aggregate from the other platforms like Eventbrite and Meetup where we can. So overall the aim is to make something like this the one go-to place where you look for events that are happening. And then you can come to this as a guest and just find out what's on or you can actually create your own profile and when you've got a profile, you can store your favourites in terms of the kinds of events you like to come to see. So whether those are sports events, the actual events, business events and so forth. Store those in your profile and that means when you come back to the site, you can very quickly see what's on that suits you. Not only that, but we've also made it very straightforward in terms of what's on tonight, tomorrow, this week and this weekend. So you have shortcuts to that as well. And you can visualise it either within the hexagon itself, so you can see what's on uh, in your community, or there are, of course, lists of events in another page where it actually shows you what's happening today and tomorrow and so forth. So the whole idea with the platform is that it only really shows you the events are on that are on in the area that you're interested. One of the other big problems with event um, web applications and aggregation engines is that if you look at what's on, you find out everything that's on in the sort of 100 square miles and the big cities that you live nearby rather than your own little hyper-local community. So we're busy now testing this in Malvern. Uh, we've lit up certain hexagons where we're busy populating it with events. So that's Worcester, Ledbury and Malvern and those sort of 10 mile areas. Uh, we're busy putting events on. People can start adding uh, their own events. They can create their own profile and start experimenting with it. And then over time, once we've got a critical mass within these hexagons, it's going to be working suitably for that community. We can start opening up other hexagons um, around the country and wherever there are champions that want to take it forward. And then ultimately what ends up happening is that on your profile you have identified the hexagons in which you live, in which you work and in which you like to go. And of course when we've got places like Brighton and um, Bournemouth and all the other cities lit up, those can be your favourite locations that you might visit your relatives or go and spend some time at the weekend. So Live, Work, Go, liveworkgo.com is the website. Uh, we're very keen to get feedback now as we're sort of rolling this out. Um, and going forward, we've got lots of plans because behind the scenes, we can aggregate data 
uh, based on where, which are the most popular hexagons, for example, so we can actually rate communities for the amount of buzz that they have with the events, and also stakeholders that are interested in events, such as district councils and tourist information offices, can also look at the analytics behind the scenes and see which events have been particularly popular, uh, because there's also liking and going to uh, like social media application on here as well, but also they can rate themselves against other communities and see what types of events are working and attracting people and even staying overnight and turning days into stays. Yeah. So there we go. Thank you very much. <laughs>